Hello, welcome to audio to face blend shape conversion tutorial series. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to export blend shape setup from Maya and load it into audio to face. In this tutorial, I'll cover how to set up blend shape conversion and how to export the resulting blend shape weight, how to load them in Maya and into other Omniverse apps, for example, Machinima. So let's get started. Uh, so from the previous uh, tutorial, we have uh, this scene, we have a gray mark driven by audio to face, and we have uh, this blend shape model. Um, let's uh, just assign some materials to this uh, blend shape model because uh, that was too shiny. And I'll just assign some blue color. So uh, actually, blend shape conversion is really easy. First, make sure you have a working audio to face and then go to the A2F data conversion tab and go to blend shape conversion. So for the input any mesh, you just select a uh, gray mark, A2F driven mesh. And for the blend shape mesh, you select blue mark, which is blend shape model. And then click set up blend shape salt button. Then you will see this guy is now smiling and it can actually uh, talk, right? So uh, we have uh, some user options and post names and some uh, user parameters, but I'm not going to talk about it in this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, I'll go deeper into these options. So in this tutorial, uh, now we have a working version of a blend shape conversion and uh, we are going to export this resulting blend shape uh, weight. So we have uh, two options. One is export as a JSON, another is export as a USD scale animation. Let's uh, first try export as a JSON. So this will export JSON file, which is a common readable file. So you can import the weight into your own DCC app like uh, Maya, Blender, or Character Credit creator etc so for the export you just uh, first select the export directory from here so i'm going to select my uh, this working directory and i'll name it as the uh, a2f plain shape weight right and since my maya is set up to 24 fps now i'll set up 24 fps and then let's export it. There's uh, one more confirmation and to click export. So now it's uh, going through the ATF timeline and convert uh, ATF animation into plain shape animation. Now we have uh, this JSON file and let's uh, try to bring it into Maya. So in the Maya scene, we have uh, this plain shape node that we uh, set up in the previous tutorial, but it's empty, so there's no animation. And we can use this uh, very simple script that read JSON file and then uh, load the data and set up some key in the blend shape node. Let's execute the script. Then you have this uh, uh, mark animation in Maya easy right so this is all driven by uh blend shape keys like uh, you see here and you can uh, check the animation graph too from the graph editor so yeah from here you can actually uh edit the keys and edit the graph and do whatever you want to make your own animation right Okay, that's it for the Maya, and let's go back to audio to face and explore this sec second option, export as a USD scale animation. As it says, it exports another scale animation node that has a blend shape weight as a time sample to data. So uh, let's try it. Click this and export. Uh, it's exporting. Um, blend shape weight as a USD file and also it uh, generated another scale animation. So uh, to understand what it does, we need to 
actually check the uh, Omni graph a little bit. So we have uh, this gray mesh actually uh, feeding data into our blend shape salt node, and this scale animation uh, node gets the weight value from the blend shape salt, and this value is uh, sent to the joint, actually skeleton node, and then mesh gets the uh, data. So uh, when we have uh, this default connection, we have an uh, interactive uh, audio to face uh, plane shape conversion. But if we want to check out this a uh, new scale animation node that we just generated. We can just uh, switch the connection here, like this. And then we don't have the blend shape, live blend shape conversion anymore, but now we have uh, this time sample data in the kit main timeline. So you can review your uh, animation without uh, audio to face playing next to it. Or you can uh, use this uh, scale animation data in another this is uh, omniverse set. Sorry. Okay, then uh, let's try to use it in the machinima. So machinima is a uh, uh, another omniverse app that let you make uh, animation really easy and quick so uh, we can use our plane shape animation here so let's bring plane shape model and by default there's uh, no animation because uh, there's uh, nothing in this uh, uh, scale animation node but we have uh, our new uh, scale animation data that we just exported so what we can do is uh, switch the connection to this joint one. So it has a, it's a default connection to this node. We just uh, remove and add a new target to our new scale animation node. Then you see that it has a animation. So what you can see is we can uh, export many uh, blend shape animation and then bring it into Machinima and you can switch the animation to your uh, face. And the good thing about Machinima is that you can actually adjust the timing using the sequencer like this and you can now have a different timing. So yeah, the, there's a unlimited uh, possibilities, you can use your uh, scale animation data, whatever you want. So that's it for this tutorial. We covered how to uh, make blend shape conversion and we covered how to export blend shape data and how to use it in another apps. So thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.